am just looking at myself in the screen right now because like everything is just an orange reddish tint do you guys know how i do like a blue light glasses yeah blue light blocking glasses on my dietitian vlog videos because we're constantly like in front of a screen i took it a step higher it's blue light blocking glasses i'll talk about it later maybe another time now i'm really really scared to take these off oh i know everything is gonna be so bright okay you guys ready my eyes feel so good and rested can anybody else relate to your eyeballs just feeling nice and relaxed because i feel like all the time our eyeballs are like so strained we're just looking at screens i'm gonna do it Oh my gosh, that's so weird. This is what I see. And it just feels so good on my eyes. And like my eyes feel nice and relaxed. But now I just feel, oh, so much pinching. The real reason why I wanted to say, get my camera and vlog is because your girl is officially registered for classes again. What? Didn't I just freaking graduate? Yes. I found nutrition and dietetics through plant-based um, science. And I did more research and I was like, yeah, I really need to go into this field also it's not that i became a dietitian and i decided to be a doctor it's like i wanted to be a doctor and i decided to be a dietitian in between and plus it's really good experience hours i get to learn about the whole healthcare team i get to work in general and I, nutrition is just something that med schools don't focus on these days i think that doctors need to be talking about nutrition more yeah. anyway i just registered for a class because i do still need to get some prerequisites for applying to med school i'm doing community college classes to get these prereqs um i need to take a couple science classes and then just go from there so i know it's going to be a while for me to get to med school but i kind of just wanted to get this going and get this out there so that you guys were aware of what's happening because i feel like i get a lot of questions about oh like why what are you doing with your life why the fuck aren't you just going to med school <laughs> just kidding i'm projecting that's my parents day two let me tell you something these glasses these glasses knocked me out yesterday i think i fell asleep at like nine and i woke up at five in the morning or 5 30 in the morning and i felt super rested i felt so energized i got up did my yoga practice and now i'm about to eat breakfast before i go to a coffee shop to work on some more stuff because you know i'm amanda i like to keep myself busy but i thought i would share with you guys right now like how exactly i studied for the rd exam for some of you you graduated from university and you're going to study for your rd exam but you want to know exactly how so this is my handy dandy binder that I had and so I used two different ways to study the first one was Jean Inman's guide which my friends and I actually we pulled together we bought the guide and then one of my friends just made a bunch of copies so that we could like lower the cost so if you have friends who are going through RD studying and you want to look for like a good study source obviously Jean Inman is the best way to go Jean Inman is a woman who she's a registered dietitian but she actually makes her living off of training RD to B's how to pass the RD exam so she has this whole review of dietetics right here so I just got myself a binder I put all the notes in it she just has a bunch of different lectures oh I haven't opened this in a year actually she just goes over everything that you would have learned in your nutrition and dietetics program um, in a very concise way and there are also audios on it so she has this lecture thing and then she also has like an audio that you can follow along and that's what I did I listened I wrote notes as I was reading so this stuff is really important and it's really helpful also because you go through not only here i don't know why i'm showing you like this when i could be showing you so you go from things like food science all the way into functions of management human resources when it comes to employing for dietetics financial management because it's important for dietetics to know that kind of stuff menu development procurement production but what was most useful to me in my opinion was the practice questions these things are invaluable there is just a plethora of questions this is just for domain one there are four domains so this is domain two domain three so these are the answers to the questions and the questions are right here i just went through all the practice questions i went back to the notes to see like why i got an answer wrong um, so this is basically the manual way of doing test questions and then later on I realized that while this method was working for me I kind of wanted something else and one of my friends actually suggested this app um, on the computer called Visual Veggies so I will pull it up right now 
I haven't opened this in a long time, so there has been a lot of updates. I like doing visual veggies because they have current updates according to like the most recent RD exams. The way I work is I love doing practice questions and that's how I learn the best. I did a bunch of practice exams. They have full random tests with all the domains. They have a quick version, which is a short random um, test and you basically just go through and you answer questions and then it tells you right away like if you got it wrong and then it tells you why down here at the bottom I, I had a pen out so I would write it down because I'm a kinesthetic learner as well so I have to write those notes I studied for at least three hours a day for the weeks leading up to my RD exam you don't really get the same questions there's so many topics and so many facts that you have to remember that the best thing that you could do is learn how to answer those questions and like to logically and critically think rather than memorize the facts and I think things like the Gene Inman practice test and the Visual Veggies app was really really helpful in teaching me how to critically answer and think about questions and rule some out once you've been able to rule out at least two then you have a 50% chance of getting that question right so that is my piece of advice for you another thing that I did is I pretty much left home to go study I went over to my sister is where I just came from. I could just focus on what I needed to. It's really important, at least in my opinion, to take that time before your exam to be in the right environment to study and get your mind right. So those are pretty much the only things that I used when I went to study for my RD exam. A lot of it, again, is just going over the materials in the Gene Inman book and allowing yourself time to go through the questions. The questions is part of my like three hour long studying. I'm gonna go make myself some food and then pack up. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop so I can work on my new module for eCornell plant-based nutrition course. I'll leave a link also, but you could just look up like plant-based certificate eCornell. I've been vegan for like four and a half years now and I'm a dietitian, but I really want to make sure that I know everything that there is to know about plant-based nutrition and how I can help different populations because I feel like what I know right now is just biased to myself and my experiences but I want to know like how else can I apply plant-based nutrition for everyone else so I'm also doing that alongside studying for my prereqs and stuff so I'm sorry in advance if my vlogs or my videos are kind of sparse and few in between I just I'm getting into this time of my life where it's it's busy. Things are starting to pick up and I started social media because I wasn't as busy. I started my YouTube channel because I wasn't as busy. Obviously, I'm still going to be here, but I just want to let you know that I'm not like YouTube and Instagram are not my only things and I have a lot more going on. So if I'm on here way less, then you know that I'm out probably reading a book because I have a test or something. Regardless, I'm very grateful for you guys being here and for your support and whatever you want to do in your life, I hope that you know that there's so much more to life than what people put and what you put on the internet. Like, we were here long before Wi-Fi. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> it is so hot in my car right now. I just need to like turn on the AC. I just finished teaching my Ashtanga class. I actually normally teach on Saturdays, but I'm subbing today for another teacher who teaches on Thursdays. Let's see, what did I do before this? I was just at the cafe again doing some work. I got through a couple modules and then I'm gonna go back again. It's really nice that now my work is like it's educational stuff because I really like learning and I love school even though like I'm that weird person. Do you see these eyelashes right now? Yeah, so this is going on seven weeks, maybe eight weeks and I really need to get them redone. All right, they look so much better now. I'm so happy. It might seem like I broke rule number one of getting your eyelashes done because I just took a shower, but I only showered my body and um, I just used a wet cloth to wipe my face. Some of you guys, actually nobody, has been asking me about Curology and my updates. If you aren't aware of what's going on, um, Curology sent me these things to try out. This is not sponsored whatsoever. I'm just curious. So Curology, here you go. Um, if you haven't heard of Curology, Go to the website, find out what makes them so different from all the other skincare lines. You know, like all the skincare lines say that there's something different about them. So this is like formulated, I guess, for your specific type of skin, obviously, after you have uh, taken their quiz. But I'm just putting on the moisturizer right now. Um, after I took their quiz, they have, I think, my person, because they have like actual you know, like medical professionals look at your profile and your skin and your page. Cause if you just send in pictures of yourself, like of your skin to them and then they formulate something for you. So after the, I did that, they sent me this cleanser, which I did not use today. I just used a wet, warm cloth in the shower. 
and this moisturizer. Everything, by the way, is vegan. I don't use non-vegan products in my videos. Special ointment, I guess, and it has trentinoin. You're supposed to apply it to your face before moisturizer, but what happened to me was that my face started to start peeling a lot, and apparently that happens because trent. What is it? Tretinoin. I don't know. I guess it does that to your skin or like you have to adjust to it So I asked my provider about this too because I was really nervous about it Like my skin is peeling in random places. I don't know what's happening But apparently it's really good for like evening out your skin tone I do have like a very mild form of melasma Like my skin right under like over my lip here is dark and I know it's not hair it's been like this since I was a little kid. Like, I see pictures of like me having dark skin here. And apparently it's a Filipino thing. I'm not sure, but I know a lot of Asians have it. Basically what has happened since I started Curology was the peeling started to happen and I was like panicking. So I messaged them and I looked at my messages with the provider who is, actually it says it right here, who your provider is. So my provider is Vanessa. She is a physician assistant. And she basically told me all the precautions and all the things that I might experience by using this. And she was like, it says to use it nightly, but use it like maybe once every other day or every two days to get your skin used to it. So I started to do that. And then my skin stopped doing the peeling thing. So my skin was peeling for a while and I was like freaking out. And then, I don't know, I guess you can't see it right now. I'm looking in the viewfinder. But there was like a patch of uneven skin here but it's kind of gone now um, I don't I don't see it as much I really don't feel like a super huge difference again my skin is it's pretty resilient so it's not like super 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 sensitive it just knows what it doesn't like and when something is wrong I like freak out because my skin is like my baby I mean so far I like it the only downside to this is that there are a lot of ingredients that I'm not completely sure of and I'm like I don't know if they're natural or synthetic for example Acrylates, copolymer, cocamidopropyl, hydroxyltane. <laughs> I'm gonna take chemistry soon. I better be able to pronounce these properly. That's my little update. By the way, I'm not naked. I got a towel on. So since we're on the topic of oh shiznats. Day three. is now four o'clock i just got off work and i'm going to drive safely today went really really fast three weeks later let me tell you something it has been a whole gosh darn freaking week or maybe less than a week okay it's only been a couple days i feel like i kind of just failed and like pooped out on the end but Life has just been getting pretty fast with work and honestly going through the nutrition course I'm just so interested to learn all the time But then I come home after work my brain doesn't want to do anything and I kind of just want to rest plus I've been committing myself to getting more rest and just taking time where I need and really just taking care of myself more even though like right now it looks like I'm so I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder so anyway I'm just gonna close up the vlog here because I just want to edit it and get this out here for you so we can stay updated also really really quick like peeling is very apparent my skin just keeps peeling with this stuff even if I like reapply the moisturizer many times and even if I'm not using the special ointment that they give me but I don't know maybe <sighs> I'll talk about it later. For these upcoming videos, make sure you're subscribed and you, um, what's that thing called where it lets you know whenever I post, oh, turn on notifications. <laughs> and I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully not too... I tried to make a joke. I'm just gonna say bye. <laughs>